Coming safety at a really difficult time when some Jersey Shore towns are struggling with a lifeguard shortage. We hear about this discussion a lot, but we wanted to get more information and potential solutions. Chief Steve Stocks from Wildwood Beach Patrol joins us this morning with more on the beach closures, the lifeguard shortage, and what we can do. Good morning, Chief. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. We appreciate you taking, uh, taking the time. So tell us what's going on. Lifeguards at beaches are now on daily patrol, right? Because of everything that's going on. Uh, so what needs to happen? What do you need to add? Well, it's not necessarily on patrol now because it, we're, that's where we're at. We're, we're, we're guarding full time now. So we're, we're a temporary seasonal employment uh, organization, public safety organization. So, you know, we have a beginning and a middle and an end and we have a, a peak season. So we gear up for the peak season. So we kind of have a soft opening where we do weekends for a few weeks in June. And then we increase the staff slowly to get ready for peak season, which begins July 1st and runs to the middle of August. So, you know, that's just pretty much the way it's been. It's always been as a temporary seasonal department. Uh, you know, we have uh, limited resources of when we can open and how we can open and how long we can guard the beaches. So are you right now, you have what you need or there's still a need for individuals to get out there and help you uh, as we approach the peak season? So in Wildwood, we hired 12 new lifeguards. So we do not have a shortage, but I'm hearing from other chiefs and other towns down here in South Jersey that they're having a very hard time finding qualified applicants and enough applicants to fill the, the, the amount of guards that they're going to need this summer. Okay, so Wildwood's okay. Do you know which beaches, you know, Wildwood or otherwise, are most impacted, have the most traffic, need the most help? Well, I've seen through social media that some of the towns, uh, Avalon, particularly Ocean City, Avalon, uh, maybe Stone Harbor, uh, are still testing at this point in the season. They're still putting out test dates and they're still looking for qualified applicants uh, to come down and test. We're, we're in a big competition down here and, and there's two major problems. Uh, one is the housing market for, for seasonal housing for temporary employees has really gone up. So it's, it's difficult for people to be able to come down and afford it like they used to. Mm -hmm. And the second is the competitive salary of the other organizations down here that are that are shooting, that are we're competing for the same pool of people, whether it's restaurants or the boardwalk, uh, you know, they may be paying $20 an hour. And in Wildwood, we're currently at $14 an hour. So it's tough to compete with that in today's marketplace. So, you know, we try to offer other benefits mm -hmm. to entice young athletes to be lifeguards. So people can't always apply if they're looking for work spread out. But what are the recommendations you give every season, but now for individual beachgoers who are out there on the on sometimes crowded beaches? Sure. So in Wildwood, we provide we have about 90, maybe 88 days left of guarded beaches. And the guards are on duty from 10 in the morning. They're in their stands until about 515, 520 when we clear the water. And if you want to enjoy the ocean, that's when you go to the beach and enjoy the ocean. The beach is open till 10. Our big, wide, beautiful beaches are fantastic at, at, at dusk, at sunset, and they're open till 10, and we want you to stay and enjoy them, but we do not want you to go in the water. The rip currents in the Atlantic Ocean in South Jersey are very unpredictable, very dangerous, and swimming when lifeguards are not on duty is a risk behavior, and unfortunately, those risk behaviors sometimes have consequences. Yeah, a risk Deadly we don't need to take. Yeah. Chief, thank you. We appreciate your work. We appreciate you helping uh, spread the message and keeping people safe. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.